So up guys, it's Robson and Venom back again, and today we are going to look at the Wing Zero Gundam, Wing Gundam, Colonist Liberation Organization Gundam Wing System XXXGOIW. <laughs> People want to say wing, but this ain't wing. Well, yeah. Zero. The one with the angel wings. This is. That can... uh, Let's go through and see what we get. We get nice. I want to say gray. That'll be the inner frame. Uh, changeable hands, feet. I don't like the beans because they're curved. You get that nice white. You get that gray again, I believe that's for the guns. Or gun. Get that yellow. Get that white, that blue, and then some gray back there. Gray, red, yellow, and see through. But this will be a speed build, speed build video, and as you can tell, we have another video just right up here, my other camera. So let's get into this build.
All right, guys. So we're back, and he is built, even though he's kind of in some pieces right now. But let's get him assembled. Wait. Oh, that's what that piece was for. Never got a piece to connect the back. Oops. Slide on like so. Mm, there. Get those wings on there a little bit more. And I should slide in there. Did I do this wrong? Okay. Now he's done. Oh, took me a minute. The only problem is I do not know where the those two go. I'll have to go through and look, but for right now it is what it is, and honestly, I'm not the lie. He's not that bad. His wings are giving me a little bit of issues, especially this one. Probably have to fix that later on. He can't stand on by himself. He passes the wiggle test. Nothing's falling off so far. Keyboard so far. Trying to get him all standing up by himself. If he will. Probably won't. Probably have to have him in a weird stance position. Can I move the wings back without them up? No, that's not holding him up. But anyways, let's switch over to looking at his shield real quick. The gun. And then the beam sabers, which only get one beam and then the saber, but hey, what is what is. And then to display or put the beam away. Uh, from what I can tell, it's supposed to be in there. Well, for some reason, I'm not having that best of luck, but there's a little pig right there. You can see it. See it. And the beam saber is supposed to go in there. And it's supposed to pop out like so, like in the anime. But, I guess we're going to. Remove a hand. Remove a hand. Not the leg, I said a hand. Ooh, hey, that's not good. Why did that come off? Give me that. You're not supposed to be falling apart. Well, apparently he passed the wiggle test, but he did not pass the stay together test. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, it's saying his head needs to spin. That stays down. Got to turn all of this as things are falling off. Shoulder's supposed to come out. Shoulder's supposed to come out. Ah. Uh, from what I know, that's supposed to go like so. And that's supposed to go like so. Those are supposed to go like this. Page. Okay, 
so arm. That's supposed to go forward, which it is. That's supposed to come back. Hey. Not come off, come back. Okay. Like so. This whole thing's supposed to come like that. That's supposed to go like this. Like so. So I'm pretty sure if I can just do it this way, it works too. Oops. Apparently not, because it just said no. Okay, what the hell? You're supposed to stay together. Why are you not staying together? What the hell did I do wrong? What fell off? Stupid bird! Okay, hold on. So, pretty sure it's supposed to go like this. Flip that back around. Reattach that. That that joint, which is right there. But there we go. Okay, so. There we go. One simple. And you're supposed to get it like that. I go to the leg. Apparently, you're supposed to go up like that. I guess. I'm not. Ooh. 100% sure. Okay. Like so. I guess like so. Or am I doing this wrong? I'm not 100% sure. Like so. Be supposed to be pointed. Supposed to look like that on that side, but for some reason I'm not getting that on this side. Huh, whatever. Then all this is supposed to be like that, that's supposed to be like this, that's supposed to be like that. I'm supposed to be able to put him like this. The gun. Come up and attach into the slot right there, like so. And I guess all that pulls down, and then that's supposed to attach back here. If I can, there we go. Something like that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Like the side pump off again. But it's supposed to be something like this, and the legs are supposed to be folded up more, but legs are not want to work with me, so, yeah. But let's get back into Gundam mode. So, give me a quick second. Alright, and we got back into Gundam mode. 
And he just wants to do that number. So, having him stand by himself is to be a little bit more tricky than what there is. Uh, you do get the base adapter, which I need to get a base. Open hand. You have a few different hands to mess with, uh, but you only get one thumb on the joint, the back piece, and the hand piece that changes that yeah and that's kind of irritating but for size comparison as you can see in the background <laughs> but here's Optimus Prime kind of same height ish uh, who else do I want to bring down here is the super mini dragon sword The Super Mini Mega Zord. And we'll get one more down before we go into articulation wise. And here he is with my personal favorite out of the wing the Gundam wing set. Heavy arms. Yeah. This is my personal favorite out of the Master Grey Gundam Wing Gundam Zero anime set is Heavy Arms. I just love Heavy Arms because how he is and all the nice little weaponry he has. But, ooh, hey. I do know there is... Uh, I don't know if it's a kit itself or if it's add-on kit to Heavy Arms, but there's a giant weapon pack that I've been looking into. Image right here for you guys can see it. But with the hands, you get swappable pieces, so. Mm, you can get the gun hand. So, take the gun, get the finger there, it's supposed to be able to just do it that way from what I said, but I may have to move the thumb out of the way, so get the thumb out of the way but like that and you get the pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang which I'm just gonna leave that hand set that hand on there because honestly it makes more sense uh, you get close fist hand for he can hold the beam saber or the shield either or I think I don't know how he's supposed to hold the shield in this hand that's really loose I don't like that I don't know if he's supposed to hold it in that hand yeah, you can, but I just don't like the fact that automatically it's trying to pull the fingers down. But I know this is supposed to attach on the arm somewhere to keep it from falling off. Uh, let's see how it does with the beam saber. So do that number. Flip that thumb around. Probably help if I have the right set of fingers on here. Like so. I 
don't see any locking point for that. Hmm. Saber is actually pretty sturdy. So what we'll just end up ooh, doing. Get you out. Cause it looks so cut out like that. This, pull that up, pull this up, mm, have them hold it like that. Yeah. Wiggle test, it holds. There we go. The shield is another story. I'm still trying to figure out at least to be able to hold that shield. So, let's get that hand attached in there. Let me see your arm. Just pop your arm off, yeah. Hmm. No, because it looks like it locks into somewhere, but I'm not seeing where. Give me a quick second. Okay, so I figured it out. So it's supposed to just slide in there and then slide straight down and then it locks into place. So that's how you're supposed to hold that shield. So, like that. But if you wanted to, I don't know if you can do it with the gun, the hand attached, but just reattach the gun right there, or pop to the side. It's your mall kit. Do as you wish. But that is that on the wing Gundam. It's not zero. It's just wing Gundam. But articulation wise, you do get a swivel there. You get a bend it down that way. If you move that claw forward or that foot with the shield in the way, you do get a full bend. You move the wing out of the way, you get a full rotation there. These do move in and out, but that's more for transformation. Wing, get that. Full spin. Wing, expand out, but I don't think you're supposed to expand the wings. Ahead, that far down, that far up. Swivel all the way around. Uh, Move that. Show you the full bend of the elbow. So about that far. Put that back. Uh, I know if you move the armor skirts like that, you get that far, that far back. Because that back one. Okay, that far back then. If you move the back armor skirt up, those down, you get that much of a bend on the knee. Ooh, hey, why are you falling off? Stop falling apart. Uh, ball joint there. That far down. That far up. So you can do some tippy toes. Uh, you do get a full spin on the waist, but that's mainly for transformation into plane. Now, if I remember right, this is the first zero wing, the first wing that 
uh, hero gets. Why did you fall off? You're not supposed to fall off. Uh, no, I did clean up the best I can while I was taking pieces out. Or snipping pieces out that way. There wasn't really much of nubs or whatever <laughs> left over from snipping it. Why are you not standing? He has a real issue with standing for me. Unless I have the feet on wrong, but I don't think I do. Let's spin his wings. There we go. Uh, hands are on that ball joint, so you get a full 360. But yeah, this is your whip slinging Venom. And this is the Wing Gundam XX. XXG01W Master Grade Model Kit. I think it's a 1100. It doesn't say on the box what you think it is. And I just seen on the side of the box it said bird mode. Plus, I should note you do get a little figure that's in there, and then this little tiny figure, which I'm not to even bother with that figure, that figure. Just went straight to the trash. I will lose in a heartbeat or my dear fur baby midnight, which you guys have seen videos or seen her in a few of my videos. She will eat. She will eat it. But this is your whoop slinging venom. That's the wing gundam. So if you would hit that thumbs up, bell icon, bell icon. And the subscribe button and stay continued with more videos with your web sling and venom.